What's up everyone? This is Didi. I'm back yet again with the Didi Files. How you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing simply fantastic. Before we get started, please like, please subscribe, and please leave that comment down below. I greatly appreciate that. Now with that out the way, let's get on with what we're doing here on the Didi Files. Now I know, I know before you start, I know I haven't been on here in a while. I haven't been on the tube. I haven't been uploading. Uh, it's because there's a few reasons behind that. One was because I was trying to take a break. And number two is, I got something new to show you. I was kind of waiting on the process of ordering it, getting it sent to my house, and then as soon as I get, in it, get it, I take the mystery item to the guitar shop to get modified. And uh, yeah, pretty much given the, well, you already know what it is because the title is saying what it is. So, yes, Didi got a new guitar. Didi's birthday was a few weeks back, and Didi got a new guitar, and Didi, I've been playing different guitars throughout the guitar playing journey and I've tried a bunch of different brands different brands I was into or thought I'd like and I liked them all for different reasons but I just was not getting the sound and tone I was looking for and the feel I was looking for and I'm like one day I'm going to come across that guitar and I was raised around the Gibson model of guitar so that's what I was listening to and what I was used to hearing and even when I was learning how to play guitar I was playing on that which was my stepfather's it wasn't even mine uh, but I learned how to play Epiphone because I can afford Epiphone and uh, they're, they're nice too and it uh, gives me kind of like that Les Paul feel and sound and uh, let me quit yapping and show you what I got as you all know last year for my birthday I got the custom model so I got that more for sentimental value I got this Les Paul to play it and to be my everyday guitar player my recording guitar when I'm doing videos I'm gonna be using this guitar so you're going to be seeing this a lot. That's why I went and got it modified. Now, the only thing I don't like about it, which is I can change that, is the strings that came on it. They are fresh strings. They're the straight, they're the right gauge I use, 10 through 46. But I use a certain kind of string and I like a certain kind of feel. I like a Daddario string. I use Daddario's. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but probably not. So anyway, I like the Daddario's and I've learned a lot. And now that they got the NYXLs, I really do like those. And I use those on my other Les Paul, and I use those on my Fender as well. So I'm going to be putting those on my Les Paul. So enough of me yapping about it. Let's, un let's reveal it. So what I'm going to do is grab the guitar case like this. And it's already open. But I want to open it up and reveal it to you guys. I already know what it looks like. I've been playing it, of course. But uh, here it goes. There she is. Ain't she a beaut? Here, I pull it out. Let me pull out the case and properly show you guys what it looks like. But ain't she a beauty, man? Look at that. That is, I love it. It's nice and heavy, just like I like my Les Paul to be. I like my heavy Les Pauls. Uh, and let me put this guitar case on the bed here. All right. Okay. Now I got the guitar out. Look at this. Now it's got some fingerprints on it, of course, because uh. It's black. It's a black guitar, and it's actually I even named this guitar already. I've only had this guitar like I just got it out the shop yesterday, so uh, I named it. I named it Ebony because you know she's black and uh, I like what the word Ebony means, and it's my favorite color as well. So it's a win-win situation. And to talk about the guitar specs, now it didn't come like this at all. Okay, so this this here uh, this was on it, the pick card which. I left the pick guard on my other custom for certain reasons. I really don't play it. I got it, like I said, more for sentimental value. Now this, like I said, I took the pick guard off of it. And when I bought this, I bought the pickup separately to put in this. So I got the pickup before I got the guitar, actually. And uh, so as soon as I got the guitar, I live right across the street. Lucky me. I live across the street from a guitar restoration shop. And they do really good work. And uh. If you live in the Cincinnati area, I suggest you guys look them up. They do awesome guitar work, and they do pretty much anything you can think of to a guitar. They do it. And they're pretty reasonable on the prices, and they do amazing work. And they're pretty fast about getting your stuff back, too. Like, and now it took me, I got my guitar done within a week, but I had a lot of guitars in front of me. But yeah, I put the white SH4 by Seymour Duncan in the bridge, which everybody put, pretty much put those in the bridges of their Les Pauls and Fenders and whatnot back in the day. And, I, I'm a 90s kid, so I'm kind of stuck on that tone, and uh, I really, 
like the white pick up, like pick up. Like I got all three options, color options. I got the black Seymour Duncan in my last Paul. I got the zebra stripe, zebra stripe Seymour Duncan in my Fender because it's zebra stripe. It's like it's like matches the pickup. And then I got the whole white pickup in the black Les Paul. So I think it's pretty cool. So uh, I just want to share this guitar with you. I had to upgrade it because I, you know, I don't like the sound of uh, stock pickups. Fairly rarely do I like a guitar that comes with stock pickups. Now the Schecter, they got decent pickups. I like the pickups with those. But let me get this guitar picked. All right. Oops, I'm dropping stuff, guys and gals. So you know, you can fast forward through all the talking parts. You know, I'm just I haven't been on here in a while. And like I said, I'm talking about this here guitar. This is a 2012 Epiphone Les Paul Studio Solid Body. It ain't, the only thing I don't have on it is the big block inlays. Uh, and I did upgrade it with a Seymour Duncan ASS4 in the bridge. And it's got 10246s on it with a setup. Uh, we're going to try some cleanish rock tones first of all, so I'm going to turn off this high gain. Uh, there we go. We'll roll back the volume a little bit. This is the bridge pickup, by the way. sound of this guitar it's real bright and it carries and that's what I like like I like I mean the bold ones I use they just don't have they have more of a snappiness sound to them I like that long ring out sound so what I want to do is I want to show you guys the high gain sound this video like I said it's gonna be a little long and I want to show you what it sounds like in a in a mix so stay tuned for that too so we're gonna click over here. All right, I gotta engage the noise gate because it's gonna get a little hairy sounding because I do have a high gain pickup in this. So here we go. And that's the noise gate on. Everyone turn the noise gate out and show you the sound of it. Yeah, I love it. It's probably ringing you guys' ears and I'm sorry for that. Ah, there we go. So that's the, well that's the neck pickup. Hold on, I'll put the SH4 on. Let's see what happens. Well, she sounds a lot better. That's with the hot pickup on. Oh yeah, don't hit that. Ah, how's it, how's it hit more without the day, without the noise, nah, uh, without the two string engage. I don't, I don't understand that. There we go.
gentlemen. I promise you, I'll show you what it sounds like in a mix. Um, here we go. There we go. Peace and goodbye. You guys have a rock and rock and rock and day. I'm out of here. Peace.
And before I go, you thought I forgot. Let's go to the pig. Good catch, guys. Right in the old catcher's mitt. So I'm out of here. Peace.